Uh, morning all. Uh, it looks like I'm going to mask this decal and this one. And then I'm probably going to lose these two on the end because uh, they, they just don't look even to me. About a half inch here. About three quarter inch here. They're pretty gouged up a little bit. I think these are going to go away, but I'll, I'll save these two. So yeah, I got that off. Uh, I was looking at this and uh, definitely we have a uh, seal leaking here. I still don't know the fluid situation inside it. I don't know if it's the seal leaking or if it's leaking around here. So yeah, it seems like if the seal's leaking, I wouldn't have all this built up up here. So I think I'm going to need to investigate what's around that. It may be an O-ring, a gasket, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pull these plates off here. And I had to do a little bit of stabilization on this. Uh, that seems to work pretty good. good news is it had oil in it had plenty of oil uh, may see some sparklies in there I'm not sure yet but we're gonna we're gonna dump it off in this container and I'm gonna have to go find a non windy spot to do this just see how much it is and I'm gonna stick a magnet down in there and just see see what kind of metal might have been in it. But uh, yeah it, uh, it was definitely full of oil I don't know how well this is going to show up, but uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to pour it in here. But when I was carrying this over very carefully, I was getting uh, pretty interesting collar patterns in there. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but uh, yeah, let's pour it off and see what we got. So what I got was almost three pints. And it seems like it's 30 weight by the way it pours. Um, it's kind of dark for the, uh, probably the original oil. Uh, so I'm thinking that seal, that just seepage. There was no leakage there. So we're just going to clean that up. I do have new seals on order. We'll pop them in. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to assume three pints is what this takes. And, uh, you know, without a book, this is the only way I've got to do it. So let's put a magnet in there and see what we got. Okay, so what I got here is a neodymium magnet. It is uh, really powerful. Dang, it likes my vice. So we will swish this around in here and just see what it comes up with. Curious to see. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't see any uh, any serious metal chunks. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down, and I think we're good on oil. I'm just gonna put uh, three pints of thirty weight back in it once uh, once I get it all cleaned up and painted. All right, we're uh, continuing on with the Teller project. The uh, the other thing I had to get the bend out of the uh, the fender pan on it, and I've tried different methods and different clamping positions, and I think think I've got about the 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 right setup. That crease was right through here, so. I'm probably going to angle this one more time and using this setup where I can sort of bend it. I want to get, there's just a little bit more of a crease right there. Yeah, I know I'm a perfectionist, but uh, 
I wanted to get this straightened up before we start making it look pretty. And uh, uh, another thing that popped up is I may have a lead on getting the belt cover for the uh, uh, the pulley system on it. That was missing also. Uh, probably could use it without the cover, but uh, yeah, if I can get the get the cover for it, that would. Uh, put the icing on the cake so that's where i'm at with it uh oh we're going back out in the wind but uh I'm getting everything prepped for some cleaning tomorrow but i pretty much got this guy done there was still a slight and you can just barely feel it now but i i think the metal's just springing back but i've got a pretty level i put it on uh this wood pillar to get it level and then I hit it pretty aggressively with the, the big rubber mallet and uh, yeah I think uh, where it's discolored that's where it was creased so uh, let's take it down off there and take a look at it okay so this is about where I'm going to leave this other than clean it and it's going to get painted but um, you can see the discoloration where the bend was but I think once it's sanded and painted you're not going to be able to see that but uh, I did get a pretty level so yeah and uh, I get this all cleaned up and prepped for painting tomorrow it's just a little too windy today to do anything good with paint thanks for watching